Hi guys, and welcome back to Down Under and South of the Border, the special Burning Man week. So this episode, we're going to cover some of the other crazy things that happened at Burning Man. Um, so far, things have been mostly going on a chronological timeline. Things now are starting to get a bit blurred in my memory reasons. It's been almost a year and also just, you know, so much happened during that week to the you know, so many little segues, so many little things that happened, and also, you know, um, there were certain supplements involved that don't always um, uh, stimulate the best um, memory, recollection, abilities, or language abilities. Um, so, I'll do my best. But they're all there. They're just a uh, little Tetris blocks don't quite line up. Where are we? We're about Wednesday now. It's time for the Naked Pub Crawl. Uh, I didn't have all that much interest in it, to be honest. Um, so I'd actually rustled myself on a shift that day. Um, but I heard everyone say, dude, you have to do it, man. It's so cool. So cool. And so um, I found someone to sh kind of shift rosters with, and I did it. And it was. I had to kind of catch up. On my bike, naked, um, as you do, smart, riding naked on a bike, it's quite enjoyable. Uh, yeah, it was it was fun. I caught up with everyone, caught up with everyone, and uh, yeah, it is quite the experience seeing so many gay naked men riding bikes at bars. It was, and it was like a porn set as well because things were happening in the middle of broad daylight that you only see in porn movies. And I was one of the main actors. Um, but yeah, I managed to uh, lose the one piece of clothing I was wearing, which was my sunglasses. Classic Jacob! Anyway, the, um, the day ended at the Comfort and Joy sex tent, as all good days do. And, uh, yes, once again, new record! I was actually the only Australian in our camp. Um, it didn't take me too long to meet other Australians at the playa, but there weren't many, there weren't heaps. And, um, yeah, and they were all really cool. Uh, so it was great to meet a few. But there was actually an Australia Day party uh, on Thursday, I believe it was. And um, so, yeah, I went along to that, and that was cool. Um, met some fellow Aussies, and they were fun, it was cool. They had Goon of Fortune, which is, um, you stick a goon bag, or, you know, the bladder from a box of wine, on a, um, clothesline, a hill toys clothesline, which kind of goes around and around, and, you know, you spin it, and whoever it stops at, uh, has to drink. We have a rich tapestry of culture in Australia. And there were Tim Tams and Lemmingtons and all those nice things too. And there was Vegemite, of course, which is a poxy, horrible stuff. The kind of remnants of the fermentation process mixed with piss and um, foot odor. That's how I'd describe it if you've never smelt it, let alone tasted it. Uh, another random experience that happened when I wasn't feeling too well. Uh, I was on the Port de John and uh, there was a knock at the door. And uh, I was like, yep, someone's in here. And uh, you know, finish up in about two minutes, five minutes, I don't know. And um, I opened the door and uh, there is about 80 to 100 people lined up outside, a red carpet draped along the, the playa. And people with cameras and flashes going off, going, Oh man! You did it, man! Fuck, you did it, man! All right, yeah! Yeah, you did it! Fuck yeah! And like, yeah, like, all applauding. All applauding. I'm like, oh good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Finally, recognition! And, uh, yeah, it was awesome. And those are the just random little things that happen every single minute of every single day. I wish I was home. It never happens here. So, it's Burning Man. And it came to a point, and I took my first dose of acid. And then I took another dose, because I didn't think it was working. 
But then just after that. Boom! And oh my god, it was wonderful. And then it wasn't. And then it was. And then it was. And then it wasn't. And I was everywhere. And then I was nowhere. Oh, so good. But, um, yeah. So we kind of made our way into the deep pile on our bikes in the night. And I did not have water. And that's not a good idea, going into the deep pile without water, let alone on acid, let alone at night. Um, so I kind of had to keep an eye on where um, the people I was with were at while the other eye was melting down the side of my face. And um, but yeah, oh my god, so much dancey fun. And uh, going from art car to art car, to installation to installation, and just... So Hector and I decided to go see Robot Heart, which is one of the most amazing experiences at Burning Man. And it happens somewhere out in Deep Playa at sunrise. There are rave art cars that go around all through Burning Man. Robot Heart is just on another level. And um, me and Hector found each other and we were exploring and we were looking for Robot Heart and you kind of have to ask around. We jumped on art cars, we loaded up our bikes, we were exploring all night and we found it. We found it and we found our other camp, respective campmates. They led us to the way just in time for the sun to rise while Robot Heart was just going off. <laughs> We watched as the sun rose, and it was just over the catacomb of veils. Yeah, catacomb of veils. Sorry, there were these pyramids in the desert that looked amazing. And as Robot Heart just like went off, and the sun rose, they lit catacomb of veils. Nothing like it on Earth. It was another of the most amazing, spiritual, wonderful, extreme experiences of my life. And I was on nothing at this stage. I don't think. Probably on something. Um, it's life. It's doing masses of life at a time. It really was life. Um, <laughs> As the music and the sun came up, it was another world, it was another life. And that's, oh, I never want to forget that image and that sound and that feeling. That's something you can't forget and something that you can't portray, you can't tell people about, you can't video, you can't record. It's something that you have to experience. Thanks guys for tuning in again to my rambles on Burning Man, my experience. Um, hope you're sticking in there. It's getting a bit uh, disjointed at this stage, as I was, and I am in general. So, thanks for sticking by me. I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. 
Uh, please like down under and south of the border on Facebook so you can keep up to date with what's going on. Um, and be sure to check out the next episode as I finish off our Burning Man saga and do our San Francisco to Mexico City leg where I meet the infamous Bernardo. Okay, thanks guys. Love you all. Bye.